Hello guys, I'm your friend Anubhav from Hitbull's Eye and today I'm here with the topic clocks and calendar. This topic usually contributes to at least one question in every competitive exam and all the questions are direct or formula based. Hote I don't want you to do those questions wrong. So here I am with a video on this topic. In the end, we are going to attempt some questions that will give you even more clarity on this subject. So let's start this journey of understanding how to solve questions on clocks and calendars. So we are going to talk on four topics. The speed of a minute hand, the speed of our hand, the angle between both of them and what are ordinary and leap years. At the beginning, let's talk about the clocks. Whenever we talk about a clock, there are 12 spaces that signify 12 hours. And for every five spaces in between the two spaces signify one minute. The minute and hour hand make an angle between zero degrees and 180 degrees varying to different amounts. Generally two types of questions are asked in this topic. A particular time is given and we have to calculate the angle between the two hands and a particular angle is given and we have to calculate the time at which the given angle is made. Now we will talk about the speed of our hand and the speed of a minute hand. So in the beginning, let's talk about the speed of a minute hand. The minute hand covers an angle of 360 degree in 60 minutes, that is in one hour. So the speed of a minute hand comes out to be 6 degrees per minute. Similarly, what is the speed of an hour hand? The hour hand covers 360 degrees in 12 hours. Converting it into minutes, we get half. That is, the speed of an hour hand comes out to be half a degree per minute. Now coming on to the relative speed of both the hands, if they both move out in the same direction, it comes out to be 6 minus 1 by 2 that gives 5.5 degrees per minute. That is how you find the relative speed of the minute hand with respect to the hour hand. Moving on to the next. And now we will talk about some general points that come under this topic. Jesse first question, which usually sabhi students ke samne aega, that is the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand. This is a very important formula hai and I would suggest all my students to remember this formula correctly and write it down. So the angle is theta mod of 11 by 2 m minus 30 h mod close where m refers to the position of the minute hand and h refers to the position of the hour hand and the mod here refers to कि जो भी वैल्यू आएगी आपको उसकी सिर्फ पॉजिटिव साइड दैट इज द पॉजिटिव पार्ट या को उसका एक्सेप्ट करना है द मिनट एंड द आर हैंड कोइंसाइड ईच अदर 11 टाइम्स इन अ टोटल ऑफ 12 आवर ड्यूरेशन इन एवरी आवर देयर इज अ मैक्सिमम वन टाइम एंगल ऑफ 180 डिग्री एक बार तो 180 डिग्री का एंगल उस घंटे में बनेगा ही बनेगा और इसी तरीके से अगर हम इसको सेकंड पॉइंट के साथ कोरिलेट करें तो 12 आवर्स में total 11 times 180 degree ka angle banega. In every hour, any other angle except 0 and 180 degree can be made maximum 2 times. Lekin, 12 ghande ke period mein, aise ke 22 such angles rahenge. Now coming on to the calendar. What is an ordinary year? An ordinary year is a year that has 365 days. Now coming on to the calendar. Number one, the ordinary year. An ordinary year is a year that has a total of 365 days. Meaning that a total of 52 complete weeks plus one odd day. A leap year. A leap year is that year that has a total of 366 days. Ek din usme extra hoga February ka. Or isko we can write in the sense 52 weeks plus 2 extra days. Leap year, ko yaad rakhne ka, ek sabse best method ye hai, 
Can you divide that year by four? If the remainder comes out to be zero, it means that year is a leap year. Now, all the students who are watching me, please tell me very quickly whether the year one thousand, nine hundred ninety-six was a leap year or not. So, talking about how many leap years are there in the year one thousand, nine hundred ninety-six? Let's see. 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 Let's see.
राइट बेसिकली मैंने टेन बाय सिक्सटी किया है सो इट शोज वन बाय सिक्स ऑफ एन आर राइट सो जब घड़ी में ट्वेंटी फोर वन बाय सिक्स आर्स शो हो रहे होते हैं तब रियलिटी में ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स होते हैं राइट right? तो जब घड़ी में ट्वेंटी नाइन आवर्स हो चुके होंगे तब असल में वो कितना शो करेगा ट्वेंटी फोर बाय ट्वेंटी फोर वन बाय सिक्स इन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन वी सॉल्व इट आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी एट आवर्स एंड फोर्टी एट मिनट्स सो अगर मैं इसको ट्वेंटी नाइन से सब्ट्रैक्ट करूं तो इट शोज 12 मिनट्स राइट तो यानी जो घड़ी है वो 12 मिनट्स एक्स्ट्रा टाइम शो कर रही है 1 पी से सो द घड़ी का राइट टाइम क्या रहेगा 1 पी एम माइनस ट्वेल्व मिनट गिव्स आउट टू बी 12:48 फोर्टी एट पी एम एम आई करेक्ट येस Now let's move on to the next question. So third question. If 15th of August 1947 was a Friday, then on which day of the week will be 15th of August 1948 fall? Meaning, कि अगर 1947 में Friday था, तो immediately next year 48 पे कौन सा दिन रहेगा? अब, when we see from 47 to 48, we will find that 48 is leap year. Yes. Why? Because जब आप 1948 को फोर से डिवाइड करेंगे द रिमाइंडर कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो सो वेन द ईयर चेंजेस टू इमीजिएटली नेक्स्ट मैंने आपको क्या बताया था कि यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट इन लीप ईयर देर आर टू और डेज तो आपको टू और डेज एड करने हैं किसमें फ्राइडे में सो फ्राइडे प्लस टू और डेज गिवस आउट टू बी संडे यस then on which day of the week will be 15th of august 1948 fall the answer is going to be sunday am i right yes so moving on to the next question so the question says you know that may 10 1999 was a monday so what will be the day on 10th of december 2001 okay so how will we do do that so when we move on to may 99 so from 99 to 2000 the number of days that get added are one and from 2000 to 2001 because 2000 is a leap year yes we add two more days so these two days make a total of 3 so you add 3 in monday and we get thursday so the first part of the question jo humne solve kar liya hai wo ye hai ki may 10 2001 is thursday okay now we have to reach on december 10th of the same year okay so may ke baad which all which all months are there june july august september october and november jo complete months hain so june has 30 days this has 31 days august has 31 september has 30 october has 31 and november has 30 days right you add all of them and it comes out to be 183 clearly you add there are total 31 days in may and since 10 days have already passed so 21 days of may and 10 days of december that comes out to be 4 1 and 2 14 so the total number of days between may 10 2001 to 10th of december 2001 are 2 1 4 now we are going to divide them by 7 yes so when we divide it by 7 the answer comes out to be 4 odd days so when this was thursday you add 4 odd days in it the answer comes out to be monday right so friends this was all about the clocks and calendar questions if you want our guidance on more such topics प्लीज राइट देम इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो मैं आपके साथ बहुत जल्द ही आऊंगा एक नई वीडियो लेकर रिगार्डिंग अ टॉपिक विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द सी यू सीई टी प्रिपरेशन टिल देन सब्सक्राइब आर हिट बुल्स आई सी यू सीई टी चैनल ताकि आप हमारी कोई भी वीडियो को मिस ना करें 
आप इस वीडियो को लाइक करें एंड शेयर इट अमंगस्ट ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सी यू इसके साथ ही आप हमारा चैनल हिटबुल्स आई सी यू को सब्सक्राइब करें ताकि आप हमारी सारी वीडियोस और टाइम पर देख सकें और हमारे साथ सी यू की प्रिपरेशन करते रहें। स्टे ट्यून एंड कीप सपोर्टिंग हिटबुल्स आई